It's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolfie podcast. Woo. Shout out OD, shout out G Holmes, it's the best. Be sexy. Welcome back to another episode of the Woo Pig Podcast, where we're talking about Arkansas Razorback football and basketball every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. We coming at you with the hotness. And the Woo Pig Podcast is brought to you by our sponsor, 3M Electric. They are your resource for all things electrical contracting work that you need done in Northwest Arkansas and beyond. They are SDVOSB. They are dependable. They are reliable. No job, too big or small. When you need some work done, think about 3M Electric. Give them a call, 479-408-9865. Let them know your guys at the Woo Pig Podcast sent you. And without further ado, you know who I got in the building. <laughs> Yo, hey, man, you got your boy G. Holmes in the building, a.k.a. Big Sexy, man. Somebody out there holler for me. Oh! There, there they go. Boy, you sound real up, good OD? today. Boy, you sound real crispy today. What? <laughs> Say, man, I'm up in KC. I'm on location. Ooh. I'm out here on location, man, in the, the Woo Pig Podcast Studios, man. I'm looking behind me. I think I may have a groupie in the studio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we doing it real big, man. What's yeah, happening, buddy. OD? Man, man, we just, we just watched the... A complete meltdown, bro. We we watched Yo, a man. meltdown of our beloved Arkansas Razorbacks, man. I don't even know how I feel about what I just saw. Oh uh, man, B- bad officiating, bruh. Bad coaching, bruh. No rebounding, bruh. No def- <laughs> no defense. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you this, man. It was one play that in the first half that really started the downfall of this game. It was a close game. I don't remember the score, but we were down by two. We get a defensive rebound. Devo Davis gets the defensive rebound, and he goes down court, is one on 12, and he tries to force a shot, and, of course, it was a debacle. Turn over the ball. They go right back down, score the, you know, score the bucket, and then come right back, score again. And from that point on, it was just downhill, bro. And I'm telling you, we went down four. We went down six. We went down eight. We went down 13. That that play right there to me was the point in the game that I always talk about is sometimes Devo will lose a game for you just like he'll win a game for you because of basketball IQ. If you were one on seven, man, you can't always you ain't you not him. There's very few players that can go one on five and make that a good outcome. The smart play, the high basketball IQ play is to do what? Pull the ball out, out, man. Pull it out. You don't have to force it. He forced the issue, which put us in a bad situation, and it was a domino effect. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hey, let me give a shout-out to uh, one of our members, man, Big Man Ross. Hey, he said, what up, family? And he also said, hit the like button, man. Shout out to you, big big man, Ross. We appreciate you for rocking with us. Appreciate you for being a member. Uh, he said, look at Big Sexy in that lighting. Ooh, that boy crispy and he sound good, baby. Shout out hey, to the Woo Pig Podcast for rocking with us. Maybe y'all helping us bring, bring good quality to you guys, man. We appreciate hey, y'all. Hey, man, y'all. 
I'm a dark skinned brother, man. I mean, it takes a lot of lights to make me look, you know what I'm saying? When you see me in person, you're gonna be like, woo wee, that dude right there from the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> but but man, let's jump into it, feminine. man. What what the stats looking like? Who who shine, who didn't shine, man? What just <sighs> Just with for the who? Opt- oh, for us? We, we got for a super chat, or? man. We we got a super okay. chat. Let me let me read my super chat. Uh oh, look who in the building, man. Hey, that's we, our guy, super man. Trash. I mean, wrong Woo one. Big DZ. <laughs> Hey, Whoopi D is trying to get his brother a car, man. He said, I'm still at the dealership watching my little brother get beat up just like these hogs. <laughs> I tried hey, to save him. I, I tried to save him, man. Look here, man. Super I tried train. to tell you who to talk to, but everybody hard-headed, so I hope they wring their neck just like a little chicken out here, man. I told you who to go talk to. You need to go talk to <laughs> my man's box. Call him. He going to take care of all your car needs. That's a free plug for my boy. Now, that's it. <laughs> now, I ain't got that. I'm done talking. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, man, just, let's let's show our boy Box of Love, man. If you if you need a Honda, man, you need a Honda. No. This is this hey, is a Box, free sponsorship hey. for that boy Box, man. Go hey, holler at the boy is, Box, man. He's not, he not at Honda. Box is at uh, McClarty of uh Volkswagen or Volvo, okay, Volvo. My bad. one go. of those over there. Y'all go holler at Box, man. He gonna he gonna take care of you, man. This dude been in the business for a long time. It's my dog. So call Eric Box, man. I ain't gonna put his phone number out there like that because I ain't got the bad <laughs> phone number. But call Eric Box. I'm gonna get his phone number, man, because I'm gonna plug him because that's my boy. So y'all yeah. y'all go holler at Box if you need a car. Yeah, you know Box rock with us. We're gonna rock with him. I but man, what, what what them stats looking like? Let's get back to the game. What the stats looking bro, like, bro? So I mean, we we're gonna talk about this. They haven't they haven't done the the final posting on the minutes, but our starting five our starting five was Brazil, uh, Brazil Lawson, Ellis, uh, Mark, and Debo. Them dudes collectively, dude, collectively, uh, they were. Five, they only made seven shots starting five. It don't matter how many attempts. They only made seven shots. The starting five made seven buckets. Think about that. The starting five are responsible for 19 points. Man, that's terrible. Let me say that one, me say that one more time. The starting five are responsible for 19 points. Mm, mm, mm. That's terrible. And that right. starting five was Trevor Bazile, uh, Lawson, Ellis, Mark, and Devo. That's terrible. Hmm. Now I'm going to go down here individually because Brazil, I know he's coming off an injury, so I ain't going I, I ain't gonna blaze him up too much. Let's but let's say was, that point. That's that's one of our talking points. We're gonna come, we're gonna touch on that. Let's go back. Okay. Let's just run these stats down. Okay, so Lawson, he was. 0 of 4, 1 steal, 1 block, 0 points. Mm. Ellis, 1 for 4, and 1 for uh, 2 from uh, the free throw line, I mean from 3 point, 2 for 2 from the free throw line, 2 turnovers, 5 points. Devo Davis, 2 for 6, 0 for 1 from 3, he didn't make it to the free throw line. He did have four rebounds, one steal, four points. That's mm-hmm. our starting five. And Trevin Bazile, zero for two, zero from zero from the uh three point. He didn't make it, you know, to the line. He had one rebound. Our 6'10, 6'11 guy had one rebound. One assist, two steals, no blocks, and a turnover with no points. We can't win games like that. So yeah. that was the starting five stats. And we'll, we'll run down the other guys as we talk about it. But the only other person that really done something uh, in double digits, we only had two players in double digits. That was Davenport and Battle. Davenport had 12 and Battle had 13. We had a total of 70 points. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Hey, shout out to big man Ross. He said, I said hit the like button. Get it, uh, get it, baby. 
Get yeah, it. Hey, man. Y'all hey, hit the like button, big man. man Ross, man. A member and he super chats. Hey, shout out to our guy, Woo Pig Honcho. Also, that's my, my. That's my the guy. Like button. Wait, Come on, baby. Here, Let's baby. get the like button, baby. We got sixty. We got sixty-four people in here. Twenty-nine likes. Hey, in the words, in, in the words of my guy, uh, unbiased. Hey, wipe your feet when you come to somebody else, somebody's house, baby. Hey, hit the like button for us. Hit the like button. Uh, let's where we at, man. Let me jump back over here to us. So, so you know, we we lost. So, I want to talk about this. Uh, hey, and thank you for uh, the Woo Pig Honcho, Big Man Ross. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Um, I want to talk about Eric Musselman, man. Mm, he got ejected. He got ejected, and and I understand he he's he gets upset at the officiating, right? We got some bonus but calls. We did, but I ain't gonna go there with with it right now because I'm gonna okay. go, I'm a, I'm gonna let Musselman know. I'm gonna look right in the camera and I'm gonna say this to Eric Musselman, and I hope you watch this. You expect kids to have composure when they get bad calls. When they get yanked out the game, you expect them to have composure and to keep it all inside. We expect the same thing out of you as the head coach. If you want to, if you want the respect and you want to lead by example, do exactly what you're asking them kids to do. To That's maintain their composure, to play through the bad calls, all of that. You got to do the same thing. You got to be able to, to to walk up to the line and understand when I need to pull back. You, you go overboard way too much. You get way too many technicals. And, and, and you got to control yourself just like you expect those kids to do. That's facts. So, and it was this, this was his second time doing that against Oklahoma. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So let me, uh, you know, do you think that, Musselman getting ejected with 12 minutes left in the game. Now, 15. It's 15, 15 minutes. minutes. It, it, that it affected. It, you really feel like maybe he thought we was going to lose, and I, I just don't even want to be here for this? I'm not going to say that. But what I am going to say is this. I don't feel like I, – I, I mean, to me, that's childish antics because, come on, man, you're supposed to be a seasoned coach. And you got to take, you got to, sometimes you got to take L's and you need to be there for your team. And this dude jumping around, man, you're not going to do no, you know what? I, I, you know me, man, I'm from the bricks. And yeah. for, for somebody that, you know, want to be jumping up and like, no, don't, don't hold me back. You know what we used to do? Let him go and see <laughs> let what he him do. Go. <laughs> let, let him go. go. I'm going to let you go. He ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> if they would, he just wants somebody to try to hold him back. If you would have let him go, he would like y'all. Somebody come hold me, please. You're not gonna do anything. You're not going to go up there and grab the official. So what are you gonna do? Right. I, for once, let him go. Come show yeah. me what you're gonna do, man. You ain't gonna do nothing, man. You out here selling these wolf tickets, man. I'm from the bricks, man. I, you know that. That's why. You know, certain people can't be in certain positions because if I was a referee, I would have been told, hey, man, let him go. Come on over here, man. We finna wall him up him. <laughs> right like on national, on national TV. I'm finna, man, you know what I'm saying? Your wife ain't gonna even let you get in the bed tonight because I'm finna dust you on that national TV. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, man, the, the cast man, he he gotta he gotta keep his composure, man. He, he got gotta, to. What you can't what, just what, be what out is here he trying to prove? Exactly. Come on, man. Get off my phone with that. Yeah, everybody know you ain't gonna bust a great, bro. Stop it. Stop getting texts. Stop stop giving free points. You free expect points. these guys to be where they supposed to be and play the defense that you want. We expect you to be the bro. coach and be available to coach. Win, lose, or draw, bro. You can't be out here doing that. And these other coaches be holding him back like, hey, let that fool go out there. Let him go out like Bobby Knight. Throw a chair across the field, across the court, fool. We don't care. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? So you uh so Moving on to the next the next segment, man. Uh, before we do that, man, let's let's get a shout out to our sponsor, G. Oh, this boy, he ain't he ain't ready. No, I ain't ready, man, because I don't got my read. I forgot to plug my computer. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, cause man, for some reason, I just remembered this by heart already. So, <laughs> before we get into our next segment, man, we definitely want to give a, a, a huge thank you, a huge shout out to our guys over at 3M Electric, man. They are your source for everything, all thing 
Electrical. You need an electrical contractor? Hey, give them a call. They are SDVOSB, dependable, reliable. No job too big or small. Give them a call, 479-408-9865. Let them know you guys at the Woo Pig Podcast sent you. And and my next topic, bro, is is where do we go from here, man? I mean, we, I mean, as far as what? We ain't won a game away question. from Bud Walton. We we no, I take that back. We won one game away from Bud Bud Walton. We beat uh, Stanford. But it, it, this, is this what we can expect this year? Uh, from the Hogs, because we see them losing to the North Carolinas, the Memphis, Oklahoma, and I mean by by no stretch of the imagination is Oklahoma a scrub team. That high pick and roll was that was Killing. beautiful. It was bro. beautiful. It, it was like watching the NBA team almost, bro. And that bro. point guard was busting them. You know, busting what I'm saying? them. Busting them up, and, and, and okay, so I, let, let me just just touch on that for for a second. So, me and you both played the game. We, we I mean, I, I ain't gonna say we ever played in college. We didn't play in college, but I'm gonna tell you something. It, a lot of the cats that we played for could have played in college, and we understand. We never had a scouting report. We didn't have a scout. You know what I'm saying? We have to scout during the game. We was like, wait a minute, this dude right here keep on taking me to the right, so let me play that right hand, man. Let me hedge him to the left toward my help. Or he, he, keep, he keep taking me with the left hand, let me hedge him back to the right. You know what I'm saying? And use the sideline. I mean, so we're, we're, we have basketball IQ. Mm-hmm. So when we watch the game, we watch the game from that vantage point. Bro, we watching the game, man. We like, hey, man. You hedging this dude, you know, you, you standing on his right hand and you leaving a six-foot gap on the left. And the rotation and the rotation is not coming. So what are you doing, man? That point guard was like, oh, you going to give me the left? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to take the left and lay. Oh, I, and so I don't, I don't understand either – they not communicating, yo, I'm going to force him this way. I'm going to force him off of his strong hand to his weak side, but I, I need you to be able to rotate over and cover that open position, I mean, that open space that I'm leaving. That's just basketball, that's basketball 101 IQ. And I'm watching tonight, and it's, they haven't had, they haven't developed that chemistry. When we, when you and I when we was playing out there, man, under the bridge, and and uh, at, at War Memorial and all these little courts all around the city, bro, we start talk. We would talk to each other. Yo, man, I'm gonna hedge him left. I'm, I'm I'm bringing him to you. You know what I'm saying? We talking. I feel like those guys are not communicating effectively, and we're getting exposed because of failed rotations. That's mm-hmm. that's what I see. I'm gonna highlight this 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 comment from Christian Hansen. L. Ellis is trash. Can't shoot. Can't make layups. Can't dribble through press. Can't pass. Slash assist. Can't defend. Means he with my button. Super trash, bro. Bro, the turnover bro. king. He is that super dude, trash, bro. That dude a walking turnover. A walking turnover, and that's exactly what he was last year. At his uh, what, what school did he come from? Louisville. Louisville. He a walking turnover, man. The dude is, he does have great abilities. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold him on that. But the dude is I, I, I'm like some of these turnovers, I'm like super trash. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what that, that, that I mean, you jumping to make that pass? Or you I mean, what are you doing? So man. yeah, Ellis, that dude is a liability. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I mean, hey, man, we fans. That's for, so to all you guys out there that want to say that we negative, you tell me something positive about it. Let me go back. You know what? No, Let no, me get back no, to the The bottom. thing about it, Doji, is everybody see what – they see the truth. They know the truth. You saw the comment we just highlighted, and this one right here. 
We need a true point guard who can who can shoot and dish the ball. They see bro, it. Bro, on the on the stat line, it says that L. Ellis only had two turnovers. I call Bull trash. On, bro, I call Bull on that. That dude had way more than two turnovers. You know what I'm saying? D- during the course of the game, it was like, what, what are you doing? So some of that stuff may not even register as a turnover because maybe it was in a in-between possession because it was on a rebound, like the, the rebound, that uh, the steal that they had underneath the opponent's basket, and he throws it right under the opponent's basket, and they get a lay right under the basket. So they didn't log that as a turnover because I guess he was trying to save the ball. I'm telling you, this stat line right here from ESPN says only two, but me and OD at least counted four or five. Man. And, and it was in, so I don't know how they're calculating these turnovers, whether or not he had to have total possession, you know, in order to be classified as a turnover. But, the, I mean, that was terrible. And you you don't understand what I'm saying. It was mm-hmm. way more than two, right? Yeah. I know it was. But it, but you notice his playing time is, is, is dwindling and it's dwindling. It should. And before long, when Musk really dials in this 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 rotation, man, it's gonna he, be too probably, late. He's he gonna hardly be getting no minutes. It's gonna um, be too late. But no, nobody really played good today, man. Nobody, nobody. nobody. And Don't, I mean, even Battle, you know <laughs> that Battle is our Vinny, uh, our our Vinny Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Off the bench. So stat line on this dude. Vinny Johnson, the microwave, which is instant offense. Two for 10, that 20%. I don't know if y'all ever been to school, but a 20% is a F. <laughs> 20%. If they write, hey. they give you your paper back and it got 20% on it, hey, man, just tuck your paper in, fold it up, and put it in your pocket, and don't say nothing to nobody. One for <laughs> four from three. But he was eight from eight from the free throw. So the dude can shoot a wide open jump. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Wide open shot. He had two rebounds, one assist, one steal, and two turnovers. 13 points. Clearly, all his points came from the free throw line. So he is playing aggressive. That's a great thing. But the dude was two for 10, 20%. That's a failing grade. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Sam Jones. He said Devo and Ellis need the IHOP in a uh, IHOP NIL sponsorship with all these turnovers they serve up fresh and nightly. <laughs> man, <laughs> boy, I tell you, man. <laughs> hey, I, I'm I'm saying this. Oh yeah, for anybody who want to come up, hey, the link is in the uh, comments. I threw that out there a long a while ago. We yeah, ain't got the, come normal, holidays, the normal guys in here kicking it with us. So I know some of y'all, y'all be scared to come up and kick it. If you don't want to uh, get on on the deal, you know, you know the deal, man. Y'all can always call in. Just let me know. Text me before you. <laughs> we, we we ready, man. Whatever y'all want to do. You just want to come up and talk. Hey, that go the number right there, man. Y'all know what to do. You y'all got come plenty of ways for you to man. get on the Woo Pig podcast, man. That's right, man. I'm over so, here, man. I'm a, hey, man, y'all. I mean, I'm up here in KC, man. I'm spending the weekend with my brother, man. And uh, I'm telling y'all something. It's disappointing to watch this. And it's definitely disappointing. They're they trying to mess up the rest of our evening. You know what I'm saying? With this debacle. Oh, you know? They're not going to do that. They're not going to do oh, that. Fat. You know what? You show sure right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what you ain't going to do. Gonna do. <laughs> hey, Who we got, got, man? We got Unbiased in the building. He out the closet. What up, Unbiased? <laughs> he out the closet, baby. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> let my people go. <laughs> I'm biased. Hey, Give us, us free. <laughs> Give us free. <laughs> I'm biased, What's man. Up, we want to hear your breakdown. We want we want to hear what you got to say about these hogs, man. Oh boy, where should I start? Um, man, shout out to um, the first of all. Let me just cover the good because it won't take that long. Okay. Shout out to Jalen Graham and Davenport. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Both of you gentlemen showed up tonight. Absolutely. Both of you gentlemen showed up and played. But we miss missing layups. Mm. Missing layups. Uh, transition defense continues to be a problem. 
We don't do a good job of switching enough, which leads to these open threes, splash in our grill. And offensively, I mean, how stagnant can we get? When Debo is the point guard, it's bad news. Now, Box, here comes my Devo slander, okay? Wherever you at, Box. <laughs> and he at work, man. It's, it's early, man. He's still working, man. No doubt. I got to be at work in about two hours myself. But <laughs> when Devo has the ball as a point guard, the offense becomes stagnant. There's no fluidity. That period of time when Devo was handling the ball is when we got kept on getting those Shot clock violations because we dribble, 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 pass, dribble, 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 and, and five seconds left. Now you got to do something. We have – we don't – we don't – the guys don't cut. Where's Bro. the cutting to the basket? Where Where is the ball movement? That's what I've been Bro. stressing. So offensively, the reason why we're struggling because we're not moving the ball well. We're not cutting. Bro. Bro, hold on just one second, I'm biased. So my wife is a basketball fanatic, man. She played basketball in high school. She loves sports. So we're all watching a game together. And mo on more than one occasion, we're watching We're watching the game. My wife's yelling at the screen, cut, cut, you got you to gotta lay up. <laughs> all you got to cut, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, we watching this. They're sitting there. I mean, when you set that high screen, you have to be paying attention. The high screen man is one of the, the most dangerous men on the court. Are you not? You, you understand what I'm saying? Several times, my wife is screaming at the screen. Yo, yo, uh, cut. You got a layup. They wasn't even cutting to the basket. I didn't see one good cut all game to where would, if you're not going to cut, don't run the high pick and roll. Don't run that. Not one time. And I bet you we 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 lost 20 points on high pick and rolls because the 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 cut man, I mean the, the pick man is not rolling off. When you have a guy that goes over the screen, they're going over the screen, he doesn't roll. What are we doing? My bad. I didn't mean to go on that rant, but go ahead and finish what you're saying, man. I feel. Oh no, that was very that was very appropriate. It was I I set you up. It was like volleyball. I hit you with the spike. You know, I set it up and you spiked it. Because I mean, I see no cutting to the basket. Like the pick and roll is non-existent. It's like it's just pick and then pick. You know, where's mm -hmm. the roll at? You know, exactly. the roll is missing. Um, blocker should be the starting point guard. I just I, the only thing that hurts us about with blockers he he don't got a J like that. I think he need to work on that J so he can hit some of them shots because it will be available to him. Blocker should be the starting point guard. Ellis, unfortunately, he's not comfortable. He's a turnover machine, and I put I opinion should be in the game over him at this point right now. Ooh, man. And, and, hey, you talking about five gallon bucket uh, shoe pinion? Should be in the game. Man, might as well. I mean, what, what I mean, Ooh. listen, every time Ellis got the ball, I'm worried he's gonna turn the ball over. <laughs> yeah. Dead serious. Ellis and the always. bigs got and the bigs need to rotate better. The bigs need to rotate better on defense. Even though Makai didn't play bad, there was moments where he didn't switch he didn't switch well. And Thanks. it led to a couple easy baskets. Let you me know? tell you this. Okay, I'm biased. Let me let me uh give you another uh go ahead and read the super chat, bro. Hey, Travis Sadar says, a hey, baseball right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's what hey, I'm man. About. hey, man, we're going to have to start doing baseball so we can have some positivity around this day. Hey, man, what you said? Because uh, <laughs> we ain't getting no luck out of this football or basketball. Basketball, man. man. Whoo wee. This is like a funeral. This is like a seven month funeral. <laughs> Arkansas sports. There's nothing right now but. Disappointment and frustration. That's what we're getting as Arkansas Razorback fans right now. All 114 of y'all here. Appreciate you. Smash the like button. Smash yes, it why, and pull up. Why, why don't y'all? I don't want to be the feet? only ugly face on here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, hey. biased. Dig this. This is what I was going to say, man. Just piggyback off of your stuff. So um, Mark is considered one of the best uh, defenders in the country. I think what what was did, oh did you tell me a number that he was 
No, nah, but he he was he's always been uh, touted as one of the best defenders in the country. But they know they don't put numbers on that kind of stuff. Okay, not that I know so, of anyway. So dig this, uh, unbiased. We're watching the game, and uh, this particular play, Mark is standing on the guys, the, their point guard. I can't remember his name. Standing on his right hand, right? He's he's the dude is right hand dominant, so he must have clearly read the scouting report. So he's standing on his right hand. The dude still dribbles right. He goes around. So he's going around. He passes the ball to the top side of the key. Mark doubles over. Okay? Instead of staying with his man and being disciplined, that's where discipline comes in. Instead of staying disciplined, his man drifts to the coffin corner. Nobody roll. I mean, and and nobody rotates. Nobody comes down because Mark, as that guy on the on the strong side, is the only defender. Now he's committing himself to a trap defense at the top. Of, I mean, basically in the middle of the key. That's no man's land. Everybody knows that. If you know basketball. Trapping at that position is dead unless you're going to have the center, the five position, sprint out to your coffin corner. No one did that. Guess what happened? They passed it to the coffin corner, three bucks. Splash. You feel me? I, 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 you know what? I'm, I'm going to give Mark a pass this game even though I don't want to because I could tell he didn't have his – he didn't have it today. He didn't have it today. And he That's was frustrated. Him and that, that's fundamentals. I, but the thing is, I think that him in battle was frustrated to the point where I think his frustration led to him making some fundamental mistakes, which he doesn't do often enough for me to go crazy at his throat. But it's definitely something you can address and recognize for this game that he had missing at some points during the game. But I but saw the I, frustration I, on Mark. Am I wrong with that assessment, though? Oh, no, no, you're not wrong with that assessment at all. He made that mistake. He made a couple of them. But I saw the frustration that led to him making those mistakes. Because, I mean, I'm not here to be sitting here because, you know, a lot of us Hog fans, oh, the referees are horrible. The referees I'll, I'll, were consistently I'll, horrible. They, they, but they don't mean nothing. The ball. They were horrible across the board, okay? Fact. they the, And I've noticed this about college basketball recently. The first half, they'll let you basically clothesline each other. And then the second half, the whistle just goes buck wild. Thanks. It's like for every game, it's first half, we let you play free. Second half, we whistling for everything. That's fair. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, wait a minute. Hey, um, Miss, Miss Grolo, I'm gonna ask you. I'm that's gonna the ask first time I done seen her in the comments, man. It hey. is. It's, I, was, I, I put that out there. I put it out there for this reason because I want to get your opinion on this, uh, on, on this comment. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about musclemen being out of control. Facts. Yeah, let's hear you. Let's, let, let me hear you take on that, I'm biased. Hey, shout out to Mrs. Grow Love, okay. man, for being in the comments, man. We thank man, you for being a subscriber. Man, we appreciate the females rocking with us. Definitely. Definitely. It's a double-edged sword because I think he did that for try to find a way to motivate the team. I think it's calculated sometimes when he does this, but at the same token, you have to display control because you want your players to play in control as well. Facts. So... As long as we're winning, these deficiencies for muscle men get swept under the rug. But now that we're not winning right now, these things come to the forefront. And my biggest issue, and I love Coach Muss, but my biggest issue with Coach Muss is he, I don't think he runs his rotations right. I don't think he runs his rotations right. I've been saying this for the whole time. I'm like, you should adopt a Nolan Rowland style. Five in, five out. Maximize yeah. your guys and let them play. They be fresher guys when you get down to the end of the games. That's why the Arkansas teams in 93, 94, 95 was phenomenal because no one ever played over 28 minutes. Mm -hmm. They were fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's fast. Hey, so, hey, Miss Miss Grow Love, man. We appreciate you rocking with us, man. We got we got a several females. They like to watch the podcast, man. We glad that you are a hog fan and that you come in the barbershop, man, and get your hair lined up too. So we appreciate you. <laughs> hey, man. I'm telling you. Hey. Shout out to the females in the she building, getting, baby. She's not getting her lined up. She it's like the barbershop on, on the movie, man. She got a stylist in there. They got a stylist in there too. <laughs> hey man, women need a line too. You know what I'm saying? Women gotta get their hair lined up. We appreciate you. <laughs> 
Oh, I just want to know something. You know what I'm doing right now, guys? I'm OU right now, and I'm cooking fish. So this is Arkansas. This fish is Arkansas, <laughs> oh, and I'm man, cooking. I'm about to cook. Some, I'm about to fry some fish. Man, what right, you uh, is that, that that catfish fillets? Catfish nuggets, baby. Catfish nuggets. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it, man. That's what's yeah, up, bro. Unfortunately, we got cooked like that, you know. So right man. now, I must be OU. And the thing is, I lived in Oklahoma. I can't stand OU. You know, man. so it bothers me. Man, yeah. they nine and zero right now. I can't even hold them. Yeah, they they they, no, they, they playing they playing good team ball. They just playing good team basketball. They move the ball well. Something we don't do. Let me ask you, let me ask you guys this question, man. Where do we go for a for a point guard, man? Who's gonna run this team? We ain't got nobody Blocker. to run this. Can, I, I, hey, can, man. can Blocker get it done though? Yes. <clears throat> But you know, need cutting, you need you need cutting you need to the play everybody needs to cut they should be doing double they be, should be double screening and rolling they should be utilizing the three and the four and doing double screening and and, and picking pops and creating those opportunities but there's just not enough movement I used to exactly. coach basketball they, you they, they need to, they need to adopt the Utah Jazz they need some Utah Jazz movement they got to take it back to the nineties with some some ball movement because there's just I'm, not the guys are not moving without the ball well at all. I, I, I'm going to go with you 100% because if you watch, like you said, if, if Debo has the ball, really, if any of the, if any of our PGs have the ball at the top of the key or the, the, the top elbow, everybody's looking at him. What is he going to do? Is he going to ISO or is he going to try to get into some type of play? I don't, I mean, that's terrible spacing. Terrible spacing. At that point, you're setting up a zone offensively. People don't understand that. Sometimes without a, a, a team going into zone, their spacing creates the zone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's basketball IQ. I, I should be a coach because – if you're not moving, you're going to create a zone scenario for the defense, and they love that. We're not, we don't even have to play zone. We're playing man, you know, uh one v one, and we got zone coverage. Boy, we're doing the we doing some of the defensive work for them. And I used to coach him. basketball. I coached against Marcus Canby, Richard Hamilton, oh, and AAU and Biddy Days. I ain't no expert in them, but I coach basketball. I understand the X's and O's. And I just hmm. see a utter lack of off ball movement that Facts. is very troubling. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculously troubling. Mm -hmm. And I've been and, stressing and, and, ball movement, ball movement, ball movement, ball movement, ball movement, ball movement. An off-ball movement. The guys need to be – there's no fluidity offensively. It's just not – it's more one-on-one, -on -one, take it, little screen, maybe a pick and pop every once in a while. It's just not enough movement amongst the guys. We need more ball movement. Exactly. And and the key to, you know, good ball movement is having a – not not only having a, um, a good point guard, but having a great two guard because the two guard is – often the guy that actually gets the movement started because the point guard is going to come to the top of the key and either he chooses left, right, and that, that two guard is going to come around to the opposite side, take the ball, and make a move, and that's where your offense gets started. And I don't see that. I see the two guard still standing around. So really what positions are we really putting out on the, you know, on the court? Do people really understand what the two means? We don't really, I mean, when, when you're stagnant like that, OD, you play basketball. The point guard, it, yeah, he runs the point. It, what it, is it, your two I'm doing? I'm telling you, battle should be like, battle should, the road, I mean, the road battle should be playing. He should be like Reggie Miller. Whole lot of off ball movement, whole lot yes. of double picks to set him Rachel up for those Hamilton. shots. Yeah, he has yes. a two. Yeah. That's what a two does. I coach against him too. Yeah. That's what a two so, guard does. I got, two questions. I got two questions for you guys. Does can we see how much Keon Menafield would have meant to this team as a point guard? Bruh. If that Wow, dude I didn't even grade, think about that. Wow. <laughs> hey man. This dude Ke right here, man. <laughs> Keon, 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 Keon
Keon Minifield could come off that pick and, and he can bust it. Keon Minifield could get guys involved. We really miss Keon Minifield, and I think Musk knew how important Keon Minifield uh, would have been to the rotation, and we really seeing the deficiency in that point guard, you know, spot. Because Ellis, he's just not that guy. But I want to get y'all – I want to get y'all thoughts on that first, and then I got a, I got a, something I want to bring up about Ellis, and I want to see what you what you guys think about that. But what do you think about the Keon Minifield thing? You think that that hurt us a lot? Yo, this is what I think about the Keon Minifield thing. I think Keon Minifield would want everybody in this room to hit the like button. Yo, <laughs> let's go. We got 67 likes, and there's 130 of y'all in here, man. Let's get it, man. I'm by said the best, man. When you come in somebody's house, man, wipe your feet. You know what I'm saying? Take your shoes off. You're going to come in, man. Be respectful. Hit the like button. But to that note, this is what I say. Keon Minifield would actually help the spacing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because that dude is going to be able to come off, and you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to make those high traps like they're doing. You know, they got a lot of high traps. If you, if you notice... Whenever you dribble the ball too long, we had a lot of pl uh, plays, uh, a lot of possessions that we were up against the shot clock. Why is that? Because we out there, what you call it, baby? Patting the baby. <laughs> <laughs> we patting the baby booty. We standing up there, you just dribbling the ball, everybody looking at you, trying to figure out what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yo, you, you have to get, you know, you have to get involved. Keon Minifield is an active player. He's a guy that's going to move without the ball. He's a guy that you're going to have to account for. So with him moving, it's going to move those defensive players around, which is going to create more opportunities. But you're going to have to start cutting. You're going to have to start doing those things, man. I, I That's just what I see. What yeah. you see. Hey, I, I, I absolutely – see a bunch of selfish players out there right now. I, I see a bunch of selfish players that Trying only to get think off. about scoring. Mm. Um, Bacchiotomy, he he had a good game. I'm not taking anything away from Bacchiotomy. He had a great game. He had a great game. Let me pause on that. Let me 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 cook for a second. Well, well I'm gonna tell you his stats right there. Then I'm gonna let okay. you cook. So uh let me, oh, hold on just a second. Where, where did he go? Okay, Grams, he played 16 minutes. He was four of six. He didn't shoot a three, but he had uh, five rebounds, two assists, two blocks for eight points. Go ahead and cook. He was four for four from the field? Yes. You said? No, four, when, four or five. Four or five. Okay, four or five. That's a good game for Bacchiotomy. Hey, he, you came in, you played, you, you did your thing. Uh, one thing I'll say about when Bacchiotomy comes in the game, what does he not do? He's never going to pass. He get the ball, he is shooting. Yeah, Battle shoot comes first. in the game, he's shooting. He never mm -hmm. passes the ball. Never. So when he get the ball, guess what everybody else doing? They standing in the wire watching because guess what? They, they know. know Battle ain't going to pass. Mm -hmm. He's not going to pass. And, and so right now, man, I see a lot of selfishness out there. Uh, uh -huh. Brazil, I understand he was hurt, and I, he he actually gave it a go, man. Shout out to him. But uh -huh. when he gets healthy, man, he has to be more aggressive. He has to go to the rack. Give me the ball. Hey, the rest of you bums, get out the way. Let me do my thing. Let, uh, let me let me ask you something just on that point right there about about Graham. I mean, uh, uh, Brazil. Do you think that Brazil is trying to be too much of a perimeter player? Um, I think that's just a part of his game. I mean, he hits that three at a very good clip. When he shoots that three, I, I honestly expect it to go in. So um, he keeps the defense honest. Yeah. You, I mean, the boy can play some ball, man. He just, yeah. he just thin, you know. We got to understand the dude is recovering from an ACL. Now he got a high ankle sprain. 
he hey, got a lot going on. He got a lot going on, man. And, and I and I and I salute him for coming out there and, and and being the dog that he is, man. Brazil is is that dude. And uh we definitely gonna see him on the next level next year. Hey, I hope hey. he can stay healthy and I hope nothing bad happens to him. But hey, I rock with Brazil. But what I was gonna bring up uh is something that I saw from Oklahoma and how they run that pick and roll. Mm. Beautiful. That pick and roll, they run a high pick and roll. So they got they got um the point guard way out almost at the at the very top of um at half court and they got somebody picking. And so the point guard got a full steam ahead coming down at anybody else. One thing I know about L. Ellis is that he can score. L. Ellis can score the ball. Musselman has to take what other guys can do and make and put them in positions to be successful. If you put Ellis in a position where he becomes, he can become a scorer, he is going to be a better player because he's naturally a scorer. He's not, he's not a facilitator. Nah, he is not the, yeah. he's never been the guy that's going to go out there and get you seven, eight assists a game. He's nah, never he, been that yeah. guy. Yeah, he's going to so, get you some buckets. That's yeah, facts. So, yeah, so. Make him who he is. Make him a score. That's fact. that's my take on Ellis. Hey, we got Wu Pig DZ in the car. We can't hey, see man, him, but we see him. Remote out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> what up, DZ? Brother darkness. It's been a long day, man. <laughs> did he? Hey, did your brother get a car, man? Man, yeah, yeah, he did, and I feel so bad for him. Dang. Oh, well, don't feel bad. He got a car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do need a, tr- a, a true floor uh, general, uh, Miss uh, Grow Love. One hundred percent. That's facts. Hey, my me, me myself, and you said that's I, but me I myself don't even and know. I. We need you to. We need you to spell what in the comments in your next comment. Me myself is what your name really is, so we can get that right. <laughs> but he says this team is a bunch of hard guns from other teams. Their train bias uh, is short. Is shoot first, ask questions about passing later. That's facts, bro. Yeah, that's facts. One hundred percent. Ferguson, man, yeah. that, that ruined my day. That's a that's a new that's a new name. I ain't seen that, man. Shout out hey to man, Ferguson Group. Sure, music hey group man, make there. sure everybody in the room has subscribed to the channel. Let hey, me just tell you, they guys. can't comment if they not subscribed. So. <laughs> Hey, man. So it's all everybody in here is subscribed, man. We salute to all y'all. Hey, hey we appreciate we, you. We appreciate you. Hey, man, we, we got another you. one. I ain't seen him in here yet either. Matt Seahorn, just give it some time. The chemistry isn't quite there yet. Yeah. Yo. I understand. But we take games in, though. though. It's gonna be too late. We yeah. I mean, we what we six and five? Four. Or six and four. Six and four? Bro, we gotta win 20 to get to the tournament. SEC play is coming up, and we losing to some scrubs, some teams that we're not just drastically outclassed in. I mean, out talented. Man, we have talent on the team, but we're losing because of. Uh, I, I would say we're losing because not because the team is better than us, because our mistakes are compounded. And I mean, it's just like the snowball effect. So, yeah, chemistry is going to take some time, but we ain't got time, man. This is the time, man. We're uh, six and are we six and four or six and five? Six and six four. And four. Six and four. That's that's ten games. We ten games into it. We have to win fourteen more games, and we're gonna have to go through the to the conference. So you tell me. I'm just saying. What you say, little brother? Man, you know what I'm saying? Good to see you, man. What you got to say? What's on your chest, baby? It's a lot, dog. I'm I'm highly disappointed. I'm hurt. Y'all really hit everything on the head, man, as far as just, you know, there's no pick and rolls. We have zero inside penetration, and you can't play basketball like that. Everybody just hanging around the three, setting screens, and going right back to the – I'm like, what what are y'all doing? If you don't pick and roll and, and get inside of that defense, it's nothing you can do. That big boy in Oklahoma was scaring our everybody on the team. It was disgusting. Good take. Watch. 
But hey man, what you I doing? think the even bigger problem is our screens are weak. If anybody in the fan base goes back and watches that game, just look at the what type of impact our screens had on defenders. It was literally like they didn't even set a screen. Without that good screen, you can't even roll. Without that good screen, a shooter can't get open to even shoot shots. So it was just really, really disappointing to see. To see that all of our guards got shut down was disgusting. Shout out to Backy out of me because he did his thing. But mm -hmm. I, I I just don't I don't I don't see it happening this year. I'm sorry, man. I, I really had high hopes for this team. But even if I don't know, I just I don't see it. Unless we just magically learn how to play together, which teams just don't do. Like I can understand if it was a chemistry problem. I used to think that. But once I saw Duke and Purdue, we we had good game plans and we followed them. But it's almost like this team doesn't carry over from week to week. We learn something one week and then we start all over next week. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's bad coaching, if the team, the players just not paying attention. I don't know what it is, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Hey, I, I'm going to say this. Uh, my, my bad. I forgot you was. Uh, I can't remember. Let me bring you up, uh, back up, man. Uh, hold on one second. It's all good. No worries. I was up here frying this fish. I was getting my Oklahoma Arkansas fish fry going on. So it's all yeah, good. About, yeah, man. you put the phone down. So I was like, okay, he, he got to be cooking. Yeah, fish, I did that because I didn't want to. You know, I didn't want to be rude. Y'all got me on. I appreciate you. What's up, DZ? Hey, what are you doing, guys? You want to respond to what man? I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated to the core, man. I I I I, I, I don't want to be the guy to say this. But part of this is coaching. I don't think he's running the right rotations. Listen, I, I mean, people will say, oh, why are you questioning much? He got us in here this far. But everybody is – no one's perfect. Everybody has some type of errors in their ways where they can improve on. And I just don't think, think sometimes he runs the right rotations. Mm. I think so we need me, to have a, this, some a set rotation. Let, mm. let me ask you this. What What – what what do you think is the best rotation? He said five in, five out. No, no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm going to hear his rotation, rotation. Like, what what do you right. what do you think his rotations go wrong? <sighs> he's trying to fill the game too much. He's. I feel like he's trying to fill the game too much instead of just let. He like he lets them offensively play freely, but. At the same time, he's overfilling the game in the process. I don't know if that makes any sense. I feel like you should send a set of guys out there. First time out, bring in your next set of guys. Unless somebody's making a whole bunch of mistakes, then you bring out the next three or four guys out. You want to have, I think, a consistency in the rotation kind of helps the players along knowing exactly what they're going to be doing and it kind of helps define their roles because that's part of the problem there's no real defined roles overall the only person's role that you know on the in the in the backcourt is battle he's the i think he's the only one that has a true defined role all the other guards don't have a defined role i feel like they're winging it to some degree I don't know, man. That's just, I mean, this, this is what I'm seeing right now. I could be wrong, but I, I just think the rotations could be definitely better, man. Dang. I mean, I, I agree with that. And the reason why I do agree with that is because, um, I mean, whenever you, you, you pull a player out of the game when they make a mistake, yeah, I, I sometimes agree with that, depending on what the mistake is. If it's a mistake that's going to cost the team and I need to talk to you about it like some of the terrible turnovers or some of the uh missed assignments or something like that yes let me let me substitute you out but if we want to substitute based off of hey man I'm going to keep these guys fresh you know the morale of the substitution is different too you got to think about that hey man okay I pull this guy out and I put this next guy in just because this guy made a mistake hey man if guess what hey man you got a rotation hey it's three in hey we need uh, we, we need team three whatever that is you know three people get up and sitting on the you know at the scores table boom they come in those those players are happy to come out and guess what 
you're going to get more productivity. So I, I do agree with that. I'm biased. You hey, muted, you, bro. You muted, unbiased. Well, why you muted? I'm going to uh, yeah, shout my guy, Sean wait. Phillips. He says, instead of one-on-one -on -one ball, we could use the high screen pick and roll and spread everyone out and have someone cut while the shooter's still on the three when someone drives because we have a bunch of scores. That's I fact. agree, Sean. I don't know if that's, that's my facts. guy from, from the Sugar Town, but if it is, man, shout out, shout out to you, bro. Uh, I agree with that 100%. Now, unbiased, back to you, man. What were you about to say? Oh no! I mean, he just said he he said what we've been saying, John. You on point, bro. It, 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 it's it, it's more than just screening and rolling, though. It's about all five players' movement. And again, I don't. I remember him saying he was using the Golden State all at one point in time. I just want to see the three and the four. The, actually, the four and the two. The four and the two, if you were going to buy the fine rolls. Those guys should be the guys just moving. The screener should be the five and the three. The five and the three should be the screeners. The two and the four should be moving around from, from point to point on, in, on the court. And the five and the two, the five and the two, they screen and roll. The five would roll to the basket. The two rolls, depending on what the defense does, they either roll to the basket or they pop out for the shot. And that's where battle would get in shots. But they're not when they when when they're using the center for screening. There's just no one else is moving when that's happening, and that's, that's why it. you get stagnation. You're doing a screen, but you're forgetting the roll and the movement within the screening. And exactly. all the other players are standing. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Hey, check it out, I'm by. My fault, Joe. My fault, Joe. Hey, what's going no, on? No, go ahead, man. Who I'm we got on the screen, on, man? Bro. Is that Bucks? This, this is boy Wolf Head, man. This, this double O. Oh, hey, what's, what's up, bro? Man, man you what's in the dark, on, man. What, hey, you hiding in the closet tonight, too? Ah, uh, nah, man. Nah, man. I'm just just grabbing a little liver and stuff, man. Trying to get my grub on. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. What, I know y'all don't know too much about their liver. Y'all don't know too much about their beef liver, man. So <laughs> trying to put y'all down on some of that, man. That's well, man, funny, man. hey, unbiased. I, I, yeah, no, I was just hitting on uh on unbiased point, man. You know, with you know, like he was saying with battle, man, just uh being like our sole scorer uh, at the two. But you know, um, who would you say? Who would you say will fill that void for the, you know, for for being our second score, you know, for like our second and third rotation? I got you know, an idea. I know this. What you say? What's D? that? What's that, D? Man, this is what needs to happen. We need to run, and this is purely just for chemistry. This is the only type of lineups that must should be running. We need to have Layton Blocker at the one. We need mm -hmm. to have uh, Devo and Battle back and forth at the two, depending on whether we need offense or defense at the time. We need to move Tremont right. Mark to the three. Tremont Mark does not need to be handling the ball because there's no point for him to handle the ball if he's not you know, distributing it. So I say put right. Tremont Mark at the three and then Hey, you went out, DZ. He was cooking too. Come back because you were just, I'm signing yeah, I'm like the way his line was going to say. Yeah, he was he hitting on some good right. points. Put three at, put T Mark at the three, man. Put T Mark at the three, be the original three. Hey, that dude was hey, cooking, man. Somebody turned his gas off. Yeah. See, DJ, this is when you should be at home with your mic and everything. See, we got to get you on the go setup, baby. Hey, we man. Uh, I'm going to shout out uh, me, myself, and I. He, he did correct us. So that is his name. So me, myself, and I, he says, this team starts all over every year. How does Duke, Purdue, North Carolina, University of Houston, et cetera, reload and maintain high consistency consistency in wins year coaching. after year? Comes down to coaching. That's what he said. Hey, Ooh, that, and that come with them being grass fed too, man. They come with them being grass fed too, man. They get a lot of these highly, highly big name recruits, you know, out of high school, and they they come from big pro programs. That's why. That's why uh, Lane Blocker, you know, he's not playing down to his potential. He knows his potential. He know, he's he been there. And I think that's what separate Duke, you know, UNC, Kentucky, those guys. So it's, it's – we, we, we get to a point where we're going to get there, but it's uh, – I 
I don't know. I'm kind of optimistic. I, I always hear me say it, but I'm optimistic about this year right now. So, man, I don't, right now I ain't optimistic, but I'm gonna shout out big Ross, big man Ross with the five dollar super chat. He yes, says, sir. "Man, it's the best podcast in the game." <laughs> You heard him what you heard what he said, man. We out here in these streets, man. We giving it to you raw and uncut. We don't care what nobody say. We ain't no talking heads. If you're looking for sunshine pumpers, it ain't us. Joe Oliver, I ain't never seen him comment before, but he in here. And I'm gonna highlight this comment. He says, My pops is an assistant for South uh for South Florida. Desmond Oliver, he told me Arkansas runs a version of the pistol offense. A lot of ball movement in the corners and drives down the middle. I didn't see that. I, nasty, I, right? I, I, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't see that. They're driving off of the elbow. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of driving from the top of the key down the middle. They, they, them suckers driving off the elbows. And it's icy. In, in that case, in that case, you got to have a lot of more down screens, man. Like I seen them, I seen them run one set where they had Jalen Graham and I think it was Trevor Brazil, you know, setting two two screens right at the elbow, you know, and having those those that two and three guard hit the baseline and come back up top. So I think we need to see a lot more like that, you know, a lot more action like that, man. So and he, Yo, he either went to the line or shot the three. You know what I'm saying? So yes, sir. Yeah, I'm I'm with that. Shout out to Lauren Clark, man. She said she finally called you guys. I finally caught you guys live. Best and funniest podcast out there. Yo, we appreciate you, Lauren. This is what I need everybody to do, man. Set up your uh your notifications, man. Sometimes you don't never know when we might go live. Yeah. Hey, man, we 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 out here in these streets, man. Y'all need to get notified when we go live because it's always gonna be special. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Clark, for being one of our loyal subscribers, man. We love it when the women come in here and rock with us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hey, Bumbles definitely, Bounce. Definitely says, set up really? the naughty bell, because that's why you see my ugly face. Because that's why I be <laughs> on here, because I get the notification. The same. I know, right? Set your notifications up, man. You can catch some bias frying that fish. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Where is the ball movement in drives? I didn't see it. Exactly. That's what hey. we we're talking about. I mean, it's is almost like ISO ball. And I I mean we're, they we're gonna have to huh? It's, exactly. It's that's what I'm saying. It's a lot it's of selfishness. It. It's selfish. You I mean that's in a nutshell, there's nothing else to say. Hey man, y'all got us for another ten more minutes, baby. Ten more yeah, minutes is all we got because uh, we we about to have a little shindig over here tonight. Man, we finna kick it. Oh man, I'm, I'm flying down. I'm flying down so I can come give me a beverage from you or something. <laughs> hey, hey man, come we, through, baby. We got everything you need and everything you want over here. I'm only two thousand miles away. I'm only two thousand miles away. It's all good. Hey, Umbias, um, where you at? I'm in New Haven, Connecticut. Oh where? my God, oh, are you kidding me? That's what's up. You like the only yeah, brother but, there, ain't you, man? <laughs> Nah, you guys are crazy, man. Eyes, man. So, See, that's, go, go, to, go to Bridgeport, Connecticut and say that. Bridgeport is horrible. It's <laughs> this similar to Little Rock, Birmingham, all that. Bridgeport is, is ruthless out there. Harford, ruthless. New Haven, outside of uh, Yale, ruthless. On the low. <laughs> Connecticut got two tools on the low. Bro, you know what, man? I, I need to find out a way to get your information, man. Let, I, yeah, and I'm biased. I, I actually, uh, hey, our email is in the in the description, bro. Send us an email because I want to actually uh, chop it up with you about something. Yeah, facts. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah man. Hold up, we need to get your you information. in the description. Bro. Well, I can't see it on the show on the show right now, but well, I'll, I'll make yeah. sure I shoot you an email or you if you can remember my email because I got multiples. Um, hold, hold on, just Stephen. Don't, don't, don't throw Wait, it. Just, just send us an email. That's all because I ain't gonna remember it. Well, I ain't scared. <laughs> what they gonna do? No. What they gonna say? Hey, what they gonna no, do? I, 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 I'm I'm actually going to, to write it down right now. Give it to me. What is it? Um, I, I'm gonna give you the easy one. Um, S E S B R I M eighty eight at gmail dot com. I bet we got it. So that's S R S 
Brim. No, be, S-E-S. Hey man, Seth we can, Brim. We can just go back I'm and sorry. watch the show. We, we can go back and watch the show and get his email. It ain't that That's hard. That's true. S- <laughs> S-E-S. <laughs> Brim, 88. S-E-S. Yep. I got you, man. You know what? We, we saying the word selfish. I wanted to say something about that because I don't think these guys are out here trying to be selfish. I, w- I, w- I want to clarify that. I don't think they're trying to be selfish because we know that uh, battles a microwave, right? And I think, like I said, he's one of the few players that actually has a defined role within the team that's on a consistent basis. So that's what he's asked to do is to go out there and make buckets. So yep, I, it ain't that yep, they're selfish. Exactly I just I think that they're just, they're just a lot of the guys are used to having the ball in their hand. Ellis mm-hmm. used to having the ball in their hand. Okay. Evo used to having the ball in okay. his hand. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. You you want too you want too fond of me saying that, but hey, Ellis is gonna have to sacrifice, man. Like you say, man. You have to ball sacrifice on the bench. I've ha- I've said drew- before the season started. <laughs> Dude, all my homies know what I call Ellis. The turnover king is what I call him. I said it before the season Man. started, bro. He was a turnover. I'm mad that magnet. you're right. I've been saying. I'm glad back, that you're right. Y'all about to go back and watch the receipts. I told y'all, L. Ellis is a turnover magnet, bro, and he is proving me right. Yeah. That's He's bad. proving me yeah. right. That's yeah. a sad case, man. That's a sad, sad case. case. And I'm telling you, some some of his turnovers is not turning. Uh, turning up in the in the stat line because I'm telling you, me and OD yeah. counted at least four. Yeah. So hey, Miss Shots count as turnovers too. Miss Shots count as turnovers as well. Miss layups count as turnovers. Hey so, man, well, well, he, he should have had he should have had like 15 then because this dude was out here reckless tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't that. He was bad because he just didn't handle the ball well. And then when he drove to the basket, just and this is this qualifies for most of the players today. They didn't finish at the rim. Facts. They, they didn't finish at the rim. Yeah, yeah they didn't finish at the rim. Well, okay. hey, um, Boz, I think that come with with man. I don't know. I think it's not having the confidence. Or, or not have well, nah, you know, let me say, not having the intention, not having the intention, he's running to the basket with four guys surrounding him. That's what's happening. Yeah, when these guys not having the intention to score, crowd. Yeah, well, you, you, you're hoping and wishing for a call, man. If you go into the lane, you have to know, hey, I'm gonna go get this bucket, man. If not, you can't be relying on the ref. And you see, they clearly, you know, they, not, they not, not, they not following my game, man. So. Yeah, so you gotta find it's other Knicks and Crammies to to fill the game, you know, to impact the game. If we man. Would, I, I just think that's what Ellis needs to do. That's facts. If we was to go back and watch the game, you will see how many got times they drove to the basket, and it'd be like three or four guys surrounding them. So they're having tough. They they they're very tough contested inside baskets, and that's happening because one. Shot clock is getting low before you get into you get into your sets. Man. Two, there's not enough movement of the ball. So if you're Thanks. moving the ball, that's going to create the spacing that allows you to be to hit your cutter for easier baskets. But instead, Absolutely, you pushing you have to push to the basket with three or four guys surrounding them. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, stop shooting at them, on bias. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> I love them. I love the guys. I just got to be honest. I mean, I want them to improve. And the thing is, I think we have the pieces to be a Final Four containing team. But you got to have to put them pieces together and you have to execute. You got to put the puzzle together. All right. That's that's the the amazing thing about it, bro. I always got time to do here, man. I'm going to start with Woo Pig Pig Double Zero. Then we're going to go to uh, um, Bias. Myself and G, you gonna close it out for us. Uh, Woo Pig, I want What's you to tell me you. in sixty seconds what you think All the right. season will will All end up being. Right. Mm. Man, uh, I I believe I believe we can we can pick up that fourteen win range and make it to uh, we we we'll probably 14. come in around the. Uh, I mean, no, my 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 bad, my bad, dog. Uh, let me just say I'm, I'm a, yeah, hopefully and get that twenty that twenty win uh, range, man, and uh, 
hopefully we can get a, a seventh, eighth, or a ninth seed, man, and and go prove our worth like we did last season, man. Hopefully these guys can gel. Um, and like I'm by say, man, everybody, I hope everybody finds their role, man. So I see Sweet 16 at best, man. I'm just going to put it like this. Mm. Sweet 16, man. Mm. That's what I'm going mm. for. Sweet 16, man. All right. I'm biased. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I don't want to be long-winded. I believe they're going to find a stride at some point. They will finish top five in the conference. They'll win at least 12 games in the conference. They will reach 20 victories. But I don't know if we're going to have tournament success unless we put it together. Right mm-hmm. now, as I see this team, and this is, I mean, being realistic, round of 32, 21-win season, nine-seed win one game and get bounced out by one. That's how we're looking right now at best right now, unfortunately. Now, hopefully that changes, but what I'm seeing right now, that's what I'm seeing right now, unfortunately. Yeah, I got you. My, my take on this is this. We've seen this, we've seen this before with, with Muscleman teams. They start off slow, and we we be like, man, I don't know what we got. I don't know what these fools doing. And Muscleman finds a way to go on a 10-game winning streak. And we happy again. I'm going to expect no less than what I've seen from Musselman every year he's been here. He's found ways to win. And until he until he proves me wrong, I'm gonna ride with Musselman. I think Musselman gets these guys, gets the most out of the guys that he has, and makes the Hog fans happy again, man. Uh, so mm. I'm gonna ride with Mus. That's my take on it. G, give us your take and take us out, baby. Yo, yo, yo. This is what I this is my take, man. Okay. So I'm going against the grain, man. Just from what I've seen and I mean just the fundamentally unsound mistakes that we're making. I think that we are going to have to win the SEC tournament to get into the big dance. I think that we possibly, that it's possible that we might miss the big dance this year. Mm. These guys have not shown me anything in this first 10 games that have told me that, hey, man, you know, as they gel together, man, it's 10 games. You've been in the refrigerator a long time. You ought to at least be getting thick. They're not gelling. They're not gelling. They're not playing together. So I'm 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 gonna be I'm going against the grain, man. I'm saying we're gonna miss the tournament this year. I'm saying must, you know, all these antics and stuff, man. You've had three great years and we appreciate it. And I love you. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. I hope you make it. I hope I'm wrong. I'm always the eleven and one dude. But this time, I'm gonna say. It's going to be an implosion. So mm. that's my take. Prove me wrong. Hey, man, I'm going to give a shout out. Hey, Boss Hall, flex on them. This year's team just might not be that good because they can't play team ball on a regular basis. They drive to the basket and can't finish. They stand around waiting to shoot with no movement at all. Football 2.0. <laughs> hey, man, I said it before he said it. You feel Super me? trash. Man, hey, I shout said, out to you, Boss Hog. That boy not out, only Boss is Hulk. a member, he supports with the – man, Boss Hog rock Bro. with us, man. If Boss y'all don't Hulk know Boss Hog, man, hey, if you rock with the Woo Pig podcast, you know Boss Hog. Boss Hog is mm-hmm. always supporting, man. He becomes the, new, the number one sponsor of the day. We appreciate you, Boss Hog. All right, G, take us out, man. We got people upstairs waiting. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? We about to get in trouble, man. We got the groupers in here in, here in the studio. They ready to go. <laughs> but, yo, I, I can't I can't get out of here without first giving a, a shout-out to our sponsor, 3M Electric. They are your our official Woo Pig po- uh, podcast sponsor serving Northwest Arkansas. They are everything electrical for commercial and residential 
man, these guys are a SD, V-O-S-B. You know, a lot of times people are like, what are those, you know, what does that stand for? That is a service disabled veteran, uh, uh, <laughs> this veteran owned small business. I almost said it wrong, but these guys are reliable. They're dependable. Let me tell you something. You call these guys, man, they'll be there. They go even outside the city, man. Now, these guys have been in Oklahoma. They've been in Missouri. They've been in South Arkansas in the, in the central, central Arkansas, man. They're all over the place. Give them a call, please. 479-408-9865. Let me tell you that phone number one more time. I'm going to say it slower. 479-408-9865. Use the promo code when you call them, Woo Pig Podcast. There's a special discount waiting for anybody that can call them and give them that promo code, the Woo Pig Podcast. 3M Electric, thank you guys. Yo, with that being said, man, we just like to thank everybody, man, for rocking with us. Hey, another disappointing loss, but hey, man, we still Hog fans, man. We're going to keep it real with you guys, man. We love the Hogs, but we're going to give them their flowers. There go my boy, Box. Yeah, well, that's shout out. We ain't going to get a read nice super chats. My man's Box says, ha, 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 up in roller coaster ride all year. I ain't going to lie on your Box. Yo, and if you need something, Box, I ain't going to give them your government phone number, man. But we're going to have to get together, man. We're going to shout out Box is over there at, at McClarty. I think it's Volkswagen in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Give him a call. Call over there and ask for him, man. That's my dog. I represent him, man. I ride with him to the, you know, as long as the day is light, man. That's my boy. If you need any help get, getting, you know, a vehicle, call Eric Box. That's him. Yo, all my other homies, man, up on the hill, man, QB4, uh, Biz, Biz had surgery, man. That's why I'm up in KC. We, me and OD was supposed to be in Fayetteville, kicking with all the fellas, QB4, uh, DJ Sparky, and my little nephew, Chipper. Biz done tore his meniscus out here. <laughs> he had to have <laughs> hey, this dude. Had to... <laughs> hey, hey, Biz, you need to retire to Biz Shake, baby. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> 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 we supposed to be in Fayetteville this weekend kicking it, man. But this dude, the Taurus meniscus, he had to have some surgery as, uh, Thursday. I went through on the way up to Kansas City and checked on him, man. He's doing great. Hey, man, shout out to the, to my brother, Biz, the, the notorious B-I-Z. He's recovering well. Man, I wish you the best, brother. I love you. And uh, everybody else, man, all my day ones, man, all over the country, man, we love y'all, man. It's the Woo Pig Podcast. It's for us, by us, man. And with that, we finna go kick it up in here in KC. I said what I said, baby. And we out. Yeah, it's the 501, baby. Uh-huh. You know how we get down on the Wolfie podcast? Woo! Shout out OD, shout out G-Homes. It's the best.